everybody, my name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants! Revenge of the Flying Dutchman! <laughs> I don't know why I was singing for, but whatever. You don't need a reason to sing, you know? You know? In the last episode, we completed Goo Lagoon by taking Larry's champion belt. He was very sad about it. Poor freaking Larry the Lobster. Um, and this episode, we have one letter left to get in this game. Well, besides Dutchman's Flying Graveyard. Or Flying Graveyard. That'd be cool. Clatch, clatch, clanklin if you clan. So, um, yeah, this only appears after you've collected every single of the, oops, every single one of the Flying Dutchman's treasure. Well, that leads to the chump hut. Um, 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 we want to go to the Ferris wheel. So, I, I guess it's the other oh, way. Well, I'm very disoriented now. Where's, okay, that's the beginning of the level. I see. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I got you. I got you, game. I see what you're playing with me here. I guess I could have just met you guys where Plankton is. I don't understand why this one, this star tra this attraction has three stars, man. Three stars. Okay, this does leave me right there. Ah, wow, that was just right there. Okay. You won't tread on me, goody two-shoes! <gasps> I just realized, this used to be a giant plankton head, and now it turned a, a, a barrel in plankton. So, uh, this is really easy. Oopsies. As I die. Wow. It's pretty sad. Um, crap, I do not know where plankton went. I never died when I tried this before. I just immediately beat it. Did he go this way? Where did plankton go? Oh, no. He's so small, I'm never gonna find him. I actually don't know where he went. Is there like an indication? See, last time I did this, I immediately caught Plankton pretty much. I caught him like right here. So, I have... Um, oh, he's right... Oh, what? He was not there when I respond. You won't tread on me, goody two-shoes! Oh, I won't, will I? <laughs> well, screw you, Plankton! I will do what I want, because I am a G. Is he gonna run into me? He just ran into me. Feeling especially evil. Hey, whoa! What if he just started throwing up because of the momentum of being spun around a half million bazillion times? Okay, that's weird. I don't know why they just didn't let me get this first time through Chum World. I mean, it would have been cool if they did as just, you know, the last letter. But no, you literally have to go to the Goo Lagoon, do everything there, and then come back. Oh no! We got fishing net. There's some barrels. Some treasure chest. Nothing really unique here. Why is there no clownfish guy? I think that guy was, you know, unique enough to, that he should be here. I don't remember where this treasure chest ends up either. It looks like another big top, maybe. Hmm. Let's see. That's either big top in the background or. Uh, I feel like it's gonna be in the Ferris wheel area, actually, but I'm not sure. Hmm, very interesting, very interesting indeed. And yes, SpongeBob, we'll bring it around town. Dated references. I feel like that was even a dated reference. Like, oh, this is in the mini putt area. I feel like that was even a dated reference when this game came out at that point. <laughs> So I'm gonna be in the sludge. Go away, clownfish. Why were you not? Why were you not in the freaking thingy there, huh? Oh, the bridge is not here. Okay. Well, thankfully there's a pipe. Whoa! SpongeBob freaking floating on a stick like it's nothing. Wow. Oh no! This is so hard. <laughs> it's not hard. I wonder if you can change costumes in this. I doubt it. Actually, I think I tried that before. And I think it just said. uh you can't change costumes when you're in hunting mode. Oh, there it is right there. Wow, I thought it was more frozen. Where is it? I don't know. Hallelujah. We didn't have to take that lock off. Yeah. That's gross. I didn't know it's gross or that. Or what it looked like when it wasn't all rotted. Yeah, actually, it looks kind of creepy. <laughs> There's a weird severed hand on a stick. Yep. That it is. That it is. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. We've collected all the treasures. <gasps> Begging your pardon, Captain, but we've located the little varmint who's been giving you all this trouble. Ha-ha! Who's it? Shall we continue moving our cargo down below? Nay! Over the side! 
You don't stand a chance, square pants. Okay. Leave the house without getting smashed. What the heck? How? Also, this, I feel like this is gonna be very easy. Hello? What is going on, TV? Never fear, mermaid. <laughs> for you are not alone in your fight again. Oh no, a giant TV? Did I just go through it? Did I just get through the TV? Okay, well, it's going through the door. Get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Okay, wow. That was, uh, pretty easy. <laughs> Uh, all right, all right, game. All right, I'll 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 give you a pass on that one. That was a very excellent, that was an amazing event you had there. Mm hmm. <laughs> that was a little too easy. Look there, one of those cannons survived the fall from the Dutchman's ship. He may have given you the very thing you need to find your friends. Now, that's what I call a special delivery. Why don't you jump inside it and see where it leads? Okay, is it broken? It is broken. Well, it's not broken, but you know the wheels are broken. Is there any? There's not even any rubble around. Wow, we literally just saw us leave the house. Like, ah, everybody run! <laughs> so that cannon is pointed that way. I don't see anything over there though. So, I don't see a dang thing. <gasps> we hit that rock. <laughs> we just slide past the rock. That's awesome. That's hilarious. Oh, that's so silly. And here we go, you guys. The final area of this game. <laughs> Gary! P -p -p Patrick! Sandy! Well, I tried, but it looks like no one's here. I might as well go home. Home. Press up, little fellow. Your friends are counting on you now more than ever. Only you can save them from the revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Oh, he said the name. You're right. I've come too far to let them down now. <laughs> oh, snappers. What is this? Why is that slowly moving? Oh, it's a mast. I thought it was a cliff. Ding. I, I always thought this music was interesting. Wow, that kind of put me exactly at the start of the level. Talk to the pirates. What pirates? Let's go in here and do our fishing. I'm pretty sure there's fish here. Is there not? There are fish. Here. There's no money, but there's fish. I mean jellyfish, you know. You know. Can I not see something over here? I saw something over here. <gasps> it's a ghost with two pirate hook hands and his body flashes, but his head does not. Uh. You know what? Well, I guess not. I was gonna say I'm pretty sure we end up over here. We. Okay, I think we're gonna end up over here eventually anyway, so let's go this way first. I am I'm a little bit disoriented for this first part here apparently. Does this guys keep responding? Please respond. 11 percent jellyfish of catching two. So that means there's what? Uh 5% per jellyfish. That means there's around 20 in here. Less than that, probably like 19, considering we have 11 percent I don't understand why there's such weird numbers in this game. Such weird, much strange. Wow. Hey, it's a pirate. Why aren't you trying to fight me, sir? Pretty sure I jumped down here the first time. I was like, ooh, jump down. No, lava. <laughs> there's a cork on this cannon. Avast, matey. Who goes there? Be you here to steal my booty? Ooh, I want your booty. Oh, believe me. I have no interest in touching your booty. Wait, what? I just want to find my friends and get them home. You must mean those new crew members. <laughs> the Dutchman's got all them fancy britches on his ship while we're stuck out here in the graveyard. In the wow, graveyard? That doesn't sound very fair to me. To make matters worse, someone grabbed my booty. <laughs> While I was polishing this cannon. Oh my god. So now I'm stuck out here with no pay. I wish I could do something to help you, Mr. Pirate, but I need to find a way to get past that other ship if I'm ever gonna get my friends out of here. I'll tell you what. You bring me one sack of booty, and I'll see what I can do to help you get across. How do they get away with that? The fancy britches or bitches? Like <laughs> The, all the booty jokes, touching my booty, polishing my cannon. Polishing it? He's talking about cleaning his pee-pee! What the- What? 
It was a skeleton enemy that just like dry bones. Hey, moaning, moaning, dry bones. Oh, I'm alive and well. I don't. I did, but, I'm, how? How? How did this happen? I don't understand. It's amazing. I'll admit. Look at this guy. There we go. Jeez. It's amazing, but I don't understand it. It's so weird. Just like the top of his head just pulls bandana. Doesn't is the only thing that doesn't flash. Maybe just bandana. I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All strange. Very weird. Much strange. Wow. What was that? Oh yeah, there's a bunch of spoopy eyes just kind of staring at you too. Oh, I thought they'd blink at you. Oh, I did when I looked away from it. I see how it is. Because I'm a sponge, isn't it? Freaking racists. Oh, look at all the look at all the booty. Alright you guys, let's pick up this sack of booty. Bring back the booty. Also. That's a very satisfying sound. I really like that sound. I hate how slow you walk when you carry items in this game. It's so slow. I just want to be Sanic. I want to be fast. I want to be Sanic. I want to be fast. That's oh, probably the second most obnoxious voice I've ever done. The first being my own voice, of course. And I'm uh, pretty sure if you drop it, it disappears and you gotta go back and get it. I, I would show an example, but um, I'll do that later. I'll let you decipher what the meaning of later means. So we're about to give this guy the booty, right? So it's like, wow, we're almost done this, so why am I show it? Because, you know what, I don't feel like it, okay? See, it was over to my right here, but it's not gonna let me. Oh, there we go. It's just, it's just a ship on fire. Why, why are these one ships in lava, by the way? I'm confused. Now that is one loaded booty sack. Oh! Oh, and the cannon First, released. jump into the cannon. Then, aim yourself. When you're ready, press the action button to fire yourself out of the cannon. This is the Innuendo's graveyard, man. This isn't the Flying Dutchman's graveyard. It's the Innuendo's graveyard. 41% jellyfish, 18% doubloons. Okay. Dutchman's graveyard. Uh, bring back the booty, which you already got. In the smokestack, bring back more booty. You guessed it, more booty atop the Dutchman's head. Booty, booty, booty. Dancing everywhere. Uh, on the deck of the last ship, catch 10 jellyfish in the graveyard. Wow. Gather 75 doubloons in the graveyard. Wow. Find the Dutchman's treasure. Alrighty then. Let's get in here. Let's get in here. Is there more eyes over there? Okay, let's, you know, let's shoot for this one. Shoot for this. I know where I'm supposed to go, but I want to go over here. For, oh, okay. Oh, the smokestack. I see the smokestack. Oh, no. Oh, I was going to say, do I have to get that from the cannon? I guess not. Okay, well. I didn't expect to get that one that quick. Alright, so let us move on. First area conquered. Do, 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 do. This area too, I'm a little bit concerned about. I expressed concern, I believe, at the beginning of this Let's Play. But uh, there's a spot like right at the end of the game where you can miss some doubloons. So if you miss them, that's pretty much it. Hold it right there, you thieving little scallop! Aren't you the one who's been digging around in my booty? Oh! oh do you mean the booty stuffed in the crack of this ship? Oh! No, I don't know anything about that. It was probably the Dutchman again. His booty is bigger than anyone's. What? But he still comes out here to get his hands on even more. Even more booty? He just can't get enough booty. Oh my god. Will you let me use your cannon if I bring you some fresh booty? Oh. Sure. If you can make it across that inferno to the next ship. I think I saw some just kind of sitting around over there. If you catch my drift. Wow. The this is actually really tall on the thing of it. Yeah, wow, he's like two SpongeBob's tall. That is an accurate measurement of uh ooh, of, of of tallness, of length. Would you call that length? I guess you'd call that length, wouldn't you? SpongeBob's. One SpongeBob. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gone up here. Is there anything up here? Besides death? And the barrel stuff coming like, oh wait, he's here! Shh! Don't don't throw your barrels. Tim. I don't know why your name's Tim for. Look when you fall like the lava and all these kind of fall through. You don't burn up. You don't explode. I don't know why you explode. You just kind of burst in the flame. Well, yeah, I guess you would explode in the flames. Is that an accurate thing to say? What are you? You a, you're, you're a manhole cover? Okay. <laughs> a manhole cover. A mermaid mad and lava boy cover. Do, do, do. It's just, yeah, it is just as bandana. I guess maybe 
Maybe the bandana when they created that character model was a different layer and they forgot to make that go transparent when you hit him. I don't know. Very strange. All these gusts of winds coming at me. Blip, 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 blip. So many doubloons, so little time. We don't want me to collect 75 doubloons. We are almost done. Uh, we gotta get all 100. Wow, this grave's on fire. Poor grave. Bam! Okay, well, I got one for collecting um, 10 jellyfish. Okay, let's see what happens if I throw it on the ground. Yeah, it just appears. You drop the booty! Drop the booty. So I had to do it. I had to make wine drop the base reference. Come on. Come on. Who doesn't do that? I don't do that. I would never do such a horrible thing. Wait a minute. We're missing something here. There's supposed to be barrels rolling down. Why are there no barrels? That's really weird. What is that? Oh, it's just a lot, little bits of lava spewing. Oh, there we go. There's the barrels. That's so weird. It took so long from the start. Oh, God, don't. If, if one hits you, you gotta start over. Please don't. Don't be coming, barrel. Don't be coming. Why are there so, so little? They're so far and in between. Hmm. There's one. Uh. There's another one right behind it. Oh. See, that's, that's the way they're supposed to be coming at. I don't know what happened there. That was weird. Okay. Well, I'll take it. That's that's supposed to be a much di more difficult thing. I mean, it's not crazy hard, but I remember that taking me a few tries. Look at the pair of eyes just kind of floating there, like above this guy. Yeah. I don't that know. Sack was so big, oh, my God. I could barely get my hands around all that booty. Oh. Go ahead. And use my cannon whenever you want. Ah! I'm to hide this where the Dutchman can never find it. Hiding his booty. Hiding his boobies. Yeah, they have like you little mohawk things. Okay, now he's going to the privacy of his own room to touch his booty. This game, man. This game. I don't. What? How? You don't really get much of a. Oh, you know, you can see the smokestacks there. That's where you're supposed to be aiming for. Yeah. La, la, la. <laughs> that sound. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna call. Ooh, I guess we can call an episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Slender Square Pants: Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. The next one, we will continue through the Flying Dutchman's graveyard. Probably look for more booty. Judging by this to-do list, you guessed it, more booty. So it looks like there's two more booties left. And then after that, well. He'll be facing the Flying Dutchman, the hardest battle in the game. It's sad because it's true. And it's sad because it's pretty sad. <laughs> uh, if you guys have any suggestions for games for me to play, check out the top link in my description. It leads you to a video where you can suggest games for me to play. And the more popular ones, I'll look into playing. Or maybe not even the more popular ones. If it sounds like a good game, I'll probably play it. Uh, if you guys enjoy my stuff, the best way to support me is by leaving a like on the video and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys later.